Welcome. Good morning. Good it to see so you. It's so good to see Hi. you. Um, I would like to introduce to you our assistant principal, Mr. Gomez. Nice to meet you. And our instructional nice coach, Miss nice Sarah Keller. And I am Kristen Alex. All right, you guys, come see and feel what Cypress is about. Part of library is our cheetah lab, and they're working on a challenge. She made this nest so it would fit on top, and then we'd have to fit four eggs. So why four eggs? Uh, because that's because Miss Dwight told us. That was the challenge? Yeah, that was the challenge. We wanted Cheetah Lab to have the kids all be included rather than just Quest students. So we want everybody to have that challenge and the idea to think and make a choice and hear their um, their colleagues and friends talk about their different ideas. I think a, a challenge we weren't expecting is the emotional component. Um, we were expecting the kids to have fun right off the bat and didn't sort of anticipate that there were going to be some tears happening when we didn't get the answer right the first time right away. And so working through those, helping students learn how to communicate with one another, that's been another challenge. Um, and we're seeing progress each day. One of the pieces that keeps me in education is we're so much more than a test score, right? We are developing growing little humans and we need our humans to be able to be problem solvers when they leave us and they go to middle school and beyond. And so the fire that our team, our specials team and Sprague Quest included has brought to um, include Quest or a challenge for all through our makerspace, our Cheetah Lab, um, it makes my mama heart, my education heart very happy. <laughs> Thinking about us being a 30 plus year old campus, we were not built for neighborhoods, but our staff has really come into looking for different ways to use unique spaces. The Cheetah Lab is one of them. We also utilize this space for different small group um, activities, whether it is our partners, our literacy partners who come and read, um, small group teaching groups, but um, Cheetah Lab will also be transitioning from the library where we just saw it to out here where the supplies will be ready. Kids learn in different ways. So some by reading, by hearing, by writing, by researching, and then now by doing with your hand, building with your hands. So they have all those opportunities for it to really stick for them. Right, and I love that because so often we, um, we teach the way that we were taught, and most of us that are in education, we're pretty good at school, right? And so we teach that way, but when we really look at how kids are learning, we have to step back and realize that a lot of our kids learn from doing, and so the more opportunities we give for that, um, the better we're going to be as a whole. So we are walking into one of our pre-K classrooms. I love our littles. Come in and see they're a complete model of voice and choice and how it can occur in a classroom. It's you guys do an amazing job teaching through play and you're teaching us. And then we're also seeing how we can um, apply that to other classrooms too, so. Yes, all the grades can have voice and choice. Yes, and then um, you also have fifth graders who come down and support. And what do your fifth graders do? They come and help lead the kids. They play with them. Um, they're just role models and read to the kids. It's an excellent partnership. In class, we often get a chance to perform, and that's great, and I do appreciate that aspect, but I think it's also important to give kids opportunities to perform for an audience, for the community. I think it builds community. I think it uh, promotes the arts at a young age, and so what I like to do is have after-school auditions. We have after-school rehearsals, and so this is one extra extracurricular activity where students have another opportunity to shine, and those students who are more advanced and do have a passion for this, for example, I know Morgan, uh, this is her career path. She already told me that in second grade. I love acting and it's just so great to be around people who enjoy the same thing and we all just are a big happy family and we work together and I love it. So it gives those kids uh, an extra opportunity to express themselves and to participate in the arts outside of the classroom. We work together and we get to meet new people from different grade levels and I think that's really cool. Yeah, I just really love the community and definitely the costumes as well. It's gone. How oh, very strange. We're all mad here. See ya from Cyprus.